Hey, what up, everybody? It's Ken Giannozella, and I'm at the SMC Seattle May event, and I found Monica Guzman, the lady behind the big blog, and that's on seattlepi.com, and um, because there is no paper anymore, and yeah, just so you guys know, you're well informed. Uh, but she's very cool, and this is actually her first event, so I'd love to talk to her. So, Monica, how are you? I'm good. So, I believe this is your first event. Yes. Uh, what brings you up? I've been meaning to come for the last couple of months um, since Social Media Club launched. I think uh, social media is doing some really interesting things in Seattle. Um, it's bridging some gaps. It's making industries think in some pretty new, wild directions about how they communicate with each other, how they communicate with their public. Um, it's just changing relationships, and it's getting a lot of people very excited, very interested, um, you know, very much just seeking answers. And it seems like the only way to do that, since there's no textbook on any of it, is just come together and share ideas. Right. Absolutely. So what is your involvement in social media? Um, well, it was kind of an accident, uh, I suppose, the way it started, but I'm a reporter for SeattlePI.com, mm -hmm. and uh, a couple years back, well, let's go back to the beginning. Before I was a reporter, I was very addicted to Facebook, so I guess I'm just in that generation where I like sharing things, I like the openness of social media, I like uh, being able to talk to people kind of on an equal level. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I, I got into journalism, I started blogging, and I found that blogging was very conducive to uh, conversations with readers. So um, so I got some stuff going on Facebook, and then once Twitter came out and I joined Twitter, um, I kind of experimented with ways to get, with, to, with ways to use Twitter to connect with readers and to create a network with readers um, and to kind of, um, yeah, just ask them questions, listen to what they want to hear, um, get resources, just so, so there's so much stuff to do. So. Yeah, I've just um, I've just really enjoyed learning what social media can do for journalism, and you know, keep experimenting with it, and keep thinking about it, and see where it'll take us. Wow. So yeah, curious about that. You you do have a journalistic uh, perspective on this. How is social media changing journalism and what you do? Well, it's it's social media in combination with a lot of other factors, like mm -hmm. the rise of blogging, which has been happening for years and years and years. Sure. Um, has made journalists realize that maybe what people want isn't necessarily the impersonal voice, but rather the personal voice, rather the voice that adds a kind of framework around stories that connects with people. Um, some people kind of perceive more traditional journalism as speaking down or speaking from a kind of academic upper level and social okay. media gives like a way to everybody to just be equal. So yeah, so social media is is kind of challenging journalists to think about, you know, do you really want to hide behind your byline or do you want to come out and become more human and connect with people that way? And um, a lot of journalists are taking advantage of it, a lot of them are thinking about it, a lot are still skeptical and they should be, um, because after all, you know, Twitter has what, 13 million uh, followers, it's nowhere, users, it's nowhere near the whole readership, it's nowhere near representative of everyone we want to serve. So it's that balance, we want to use the cool new tools, but we want to make sure we remember our readership, and there is a good way to, to use social media, and that's what everybody's trying to do. Very, very cool. So. You're, like I said, you're the lady behind the big blog, mm -hmm. so and that can be found on seattlepi.com. What kind of things do you talk about? Oh, I mean, the big blog is, it's constantly evolving, mm -hmm. and um, since the paper shut down, it's taking, um, it's just kind of finding like a new role, but essentially it's it's a place for conversation, it's a um, place for kind of quirky, featuresy sorts of stories, mm -hmm. um, it's a place where you can find uh, some of the things that other blogs and other media are talking about, and just kind of trying to bring it into one place. And we try to be fun, and we try to be serious when necessary, and critical when necessary, and just bring people into the buzz of Seattle. Wow, very cool. So next critical question, Monica. Sure. Will you be my Facebook friend? Yes. Wow. See, that was the that first was time easy. I, I... See? It's just like online. Right. It's just that easy. It's just, you got it. It's, it's open arms. Open arms. All right. So Absolutely. last question. Don't want to yeah. keep you here too long. Um, where's your favorite place for lunch? Ooh, that's a good one. Where is my favorite place for lunch? Actually, there's a place called Tub Tim Thai on Queen Anne. Okay. Um, and it's a walk from the PI building, and it's delicious Thai food. It's great. Wow. Very cool. Well, Monica Guzman, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. Everybody, Monica Guzman, go check her out on the big blog on seattlepi.com, or you can be followed at oh, uh, Twitter. <laughs> Twitter.com slash Monty Guzman. 
bam. There you go. Thank you.